同学们好，欢迎来到 HSK 汉语课堂。你有狗吗？你有猫吗？你的狗叫什么名字？你的猫多大了？我没有狗，也没有猫。Actually, when I was young, 我有狗，我也有猫。Today we are going to read an email from Lucy to Jenny. Both Lucy and Jenny are learning Chinese now. Listen to Lucy carefully. Tell me what kind of information you've got. Jenny, 你好，我在北京学习汉语呢。我们的学校很大。我的老师叫王欢。他今年三十六岁。王老师有一个儿子和一个女儿。他儿子五岁，女儿三岁。你怎么样 ，Lucy？Lucy Lucy mentioned three people in her email. 他们多大了？ One is 三十六岁 One is 五岁 The last one is 三岁 Who are they then? A little later, you'll be clearer about the content of the email. The first sentence from the email is. 我在北京学习汉语呢。I'm learning Chinese in Beijing. 在 followed by a location comes before a verb. It indicates the location where an action or activity takes place. This is one case that Chinese word order. It's quite different from English. The structure is subject plus 在 plus place plus verb plus object. More examples. 哥哥在中国工作 Our brother works in China. 妹妹在美国旅行。Younger sister travels in America. Beijing is the capital city of China. 学习 means to learn or to study. 汉语 is Chinese language. We have learned n in 你呢 but this n is very different. In this sentence, n is to indicate that an action is ongoing or in progress. For example, you could say, 妈妈写字呢。妈妈写字呢。爸爸打电话呢。爸爸。打电话呢 ？And the structure is here. Okay, let's read the whole text. 杰尼，你好，我在北京学习汉语呢。我们的学校很大。我的老师叫王欢，他今年三十六岁。王老师有一个儿子和一个女儿，他儿子五岁。女儿三岁，你
怎么样 ？Lucy, here are some more new words. 学校 is school or university. 个 is the most commonly used measure word in Chinese. You can say, 一个人，一个老师，一个电话。儿子 is son. 女儿 is daughter. 和 means and. Read after me, please. 学校。学校，个，个，儿子，儿子，和，和，女儿，女儿。Can you give me more examples by using 和 to connect two words? I've got three. You may have more. 爸爸和妈妈。爸爸和妈妈。老师和同学。老师和同学。猫和狗。猫。和狗。Let's do an exercise. Which two words are related to family? Which two words are related to education? Which two words are places? Let's have a look. 北京，学校。Place. 儿子，女儿。Family. 学校，学习。Education. That's all for today. Looking forward to seeing you next time. 谢谢。再见。